So now we're at 10 feet and what we're gonna work on is building your field of vision. So in my range here, we can actually go 270, 360 in some areas, uh, but we're gonna lay it out for you. One uh, pylon over here, one pylon over there. The mover is gonna go between the two pylons. So I'm gonna be able to uh, you know, gauge my bullet accountability going side by side. So I wanna always open up my field of vision. Under stress, that's a pretty big deal because uh, peripheral vision loss under stress is, is uh, can get you killed if you're just focused on what's going on right here with the threat intentionally. Your body has these natural reactions when your adrenaline goes up to get that focus. It's like getting punched in the nose really hard to see stars, your, your, your vision goes in. So with these drills, what we do is we eliminate and try to reduce that um, factor so you will not be trained with peripheral vision loss. Now, when you're being trained and, and your deal is to shoot a small group over and over and over going through a ton of ammunition, now what that's doing is it's actually training the muscles in your eye and your monocular cones to focus in on that. So you have to really be aware of that type of repetitive training so you're oscillating your movement and your target shooting, always. And as always, we've got the two in the back and those will be our innocent civilians so I wanna make sure that I don't shoot them. Um, automatically, um, it's just built in to me and my repetition because we've done this over and over and over. You'll see me start to move automatically and you'll see uh, yourself as a student or the instructor watching others move automatically as well. So in this drill right here, as always, verbal judo is the cue um, for the um, operator or the controller. Stop! And as you see there in the shooting, I paused around those targets to ensure that I don't shoot an innocent bystander. <laughs> 